In order to make several instances of a child object, typically of the same type, we can specify a sequence for child objects. And the sequence is introduced with a keyword size, and then an expression that returns an integer. So in this example, we're adding engines. We've added an S to the name, and we've added a special input to the child object, which is a form that starts with the keyword size, and then this is an expression that returns a number, which is the length of this list here. So the Tmax list represents data, where each of these numbers is to be passed into one particular child object. The way we pass each number into a particular child child object is using the child index. So the child is another general referencing operator that always references the current child object when you are inside an object specification. So in this case, the child index will always return either 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 because this sequence will be of size 4. There are four elements in the sequence. nth is a Lisp operator that uses an index and retrieves that indexed element from a list. nth of 0 will be 1,000, nth of 1 will be 800, and and so on. And that's how each individual engine in the sequence will receive its own value for the Tmax. So let's see a little bit how this works. Here's the same code in Emacs, and we'll compile that. And now on the command line, I'll do a make self of wing with engines. Now I can ask for the engines, and that's a standard sequence. Now what if I want the Tmax? If I simply say the engines, Tmax, because you do see that Tmax is being passed in as an input here. So you might think that we can say the engine's Tmax, and it pops an error. But that's because the engine itself does not return an index. Now, I'll take the abort restart, or Q, also completely throws up back to the top level from the debugger. So for most cases, A and Q in the debugger will both get you out from that level of debugging. Because if we ask for the engine's index, we see that's actually nil. So the engines itself is now called an aggregate. In order to refer to individual engine instances, we have to use a little bit of extra syntax, which is put a parenthesis around the engines and then put a number. So we can ask for the engines 0, the engines 1, etc. And likewise, just like we did with the single engine, we can reference chain and ask for the engines 1 Tmax the engines 2, Tmax, and so on. Some other operations possible on an aggregate, and again, the engine is an aggregate, is that you can ask the aggregate for its number of elements. Sorry, engine's number of elements. We can ask the aggregate for its first, which would be the same thing as the engine's zero, like this. You see, that's the same instance. We could ask for the engine's last. So a sequence knows what its first and its last element is. And this would be the same as the engines 3. And what happens if we ask for the engines 4? Oh, attempt to access element index 4 in a sequence which has only 4 elements. And it gives you the root path, tells you where the problem came from. So we know what that means. And we'll press A. Sometimes it's handy to have a general sequence in the form of a standard common lisp list. In order to do that, you can use list elements. So list elements, and then just the aggregate itself, the engines. List elements, the engines, will return the engines in the form of a list. Now that it's in the form of a list, you can use normal Lisp operators, such as first, second, and so on. So notice, now we have three ways of accessing the first. This is probably the least efficient way because it creates a whole list and then takes the first of it. But that gives you this instance. We could also say the engine's first, asking the aggregate itself directly for its first. And we can say the engine's from index number zero. There's actually a fourth way using nth. We could use nth of zero on list elements, the engines. But in general, the most efficient way to work with sequences is directly go for the index number that you're looking for inside extra parentheses, just as if this is a function call. Now let's take a look in Tasty to see how this shows up. Wing with engines, plural. So we see that the engines are named by default with their name as you specify in the code followed by the index number. And we can individually inspect the engines 0, the engines 1, see the root path shows up here, the engines 2, and check the Tmax on each one. So on the engines 3, the Tmax is 1,200, 900. On the engines 1, it's still unbound, but if we click on it, 800, and so on. 